Hi, in this lecture, you are going to learn viewport navigations inside Maya. We have four views here. You can see, let's open some model here so that we can see that clearly. So here I'm going to windows and general editors. And here you can see something called content browser. So let's open that. Okay. Now I am inside the content browser. And if I go to this modeling and sculpting base meshes, so let's click on that and let's go to animals again you have you no know, by default uh, base meshes we can use this base meshes as a starting point for models so let's go to animals and here i'm going to drag something so let's say i want to create this raptor so you just need to hold left mouse and drag to the prospective view here and release the mouse here Okay, so this is the way you can create all these models here, you know, inside the view. So let's close this window. Okay, so now you can see only the feet because it's you no know, big. The model is too big compared to the grid here. I'm calling this lines grid. Okay, so now I'm going to navigate these views so that we can see the full model. So I can do that by holding Alt and right mouse drag so if i hold alt key and right mouse button then drag the mouse i can zoom out like this so again hold alt and right mouse drag to zoom in zoom out like this and again let me first maximize this view so now you can see the full view i'm going to maximize this perspective view to this full area so you can do that by hitting the space bar when my cursor is on the view here so i want to maximize the perspective view so the process is put the cursor on the view and then hit the space bar okay so it maximizes the current view if my cursor is on a different view it's going to maximize that view so make sure the cursor is on top you don't have to select or click anything just put the mouse cursor on top and then hit the space bar so holding alt and right mouse is zooming zoom in zoom out and let's uh, zoom in and I want to pan to the head so I can do that by holding alt and middle mouse drag so hold alt and then hold the middle mouse and drag the mouse you can see I can pan like this so it's like moving the camera up down or left right so you can pan to different areas okay so again zoom in zoom out alt right mouse drag alt middle mouse for panning okay to rotate let's say i want to you know see the head from that side i can rotate by holding alt and left mouse drag so basically with alt all the three mouse button is going to you know use for navigation so again repeat alt right mouse drag to zoom in zoom out alt middle mouse to pan alt left mouse for rotating so these three are the main key navigations of uh, you know, the viewports. If I, let's say, again hit spacebar to you know, access all the four views. Okay, now you can see these views. Again, in these views, the model is maximized or very close to the camera. Again, we can holding alt right mouse to zoom out in this view. So you can do this. But we cannot rotate all these views, all these you know, three views. Because these are orthographic views and these are you no know, properly constrained to particular axis. And when I say axis, that means direction. So we have three axes. Here you can see uh, these little colorful lines. So we have three axes or three direction. And we have you know, the y axis, x axis, and g axis. So basically, y is the up down direction basically you can say this up down direction is called y axis here and the left right here is the x axis and the front back here is the z axis you can see when i rotate the view you can see it's aligning to the view so just understand these axis three axis again green color for y red color for x and blue color for z axis uh, no remember this color coding as well so let's zoom out again remember that we cannot rotate this three view we can only rotate the perspective view 
because this is only for top you no know, again it's con constrained to the y axis so, and the fr the front view is from the z axis and the x the side view is from the x axis so you can navigate like this make sure you practice this before you move to the other you no know, next lecture so uh, so this is you no know, three camera navigations and you can maximize the views just putting the mouse cursor and hit, hitting the space bar to maximize so do these things and you can also frame few areas let's say you want to frame the face or let's say you have multiple objects so let me create something so let's go to this self polygon modeling self create a uh, create a sphere so click on it it's going to create a sphere you can see the tiny sphere here so let's say I want to focus or frame this to the camera we can select it like this again I'm selecting using the select tool here this is the by default selected tool here so if I click it it's going to select and when it's highlighted green that means it's selected now if I hit F or if I go to view and here if I choose this frame selection it's going to frame that means the camera is going to close to that and frame the object like this so if you hit F select the object and hit F to frame the object in this view and you can do that again here in this view as well by just putting the mouse cursor and hit the you no know, shortcut F you can do that or you can hit shift F to frame the object in every view you can see in this view this no part is again on the way so this body is on the way because it's the top view so when it's zoom this is on the way so that's why I can see it but I'm going to show you in a minute okay so these are few options and let's see some display options so now the viewport is shaded mode is in shaded mode so that means you can see the shading of the object so let me show you some different options if you go to this menu setting menu and if you choose wireframe now you can see it's set to smooth set all from this white uh, circle you can see that is the option selected and if I select the wireframe it's going to show the model like this it's going to just show the construction edge lines of the character or, or of the object you can see the spear as well like this but again you can see the setting in these views because again in these views the settings is different so these settings are independent of different views so you can see I can set wireframe in one view and set it in other views so again let's go to set it view smooth set all so for this two options we have some shortcuts so 4 is wireframe and 5 is set it let me press 4 for wireframe mode and 5 for set it mode again put the mouse cursor in this view and hit 4 for wireframe 5 for set it 4 5 so basically this two display mode is very very important and again if I hit 4 here you can see the spear and from the top because now you can see the model in wireframe and I can see through the model basically so we have some other options other options as display modes so let me show you a few options so there's an option called wireframe on shaded so that should be here inside yeah in this menu you can see wireframe on shaded so let's turn that on and now you can see you can see the wireframe on the shaded so it's kind of good for like if you want to see the topology or the edge flow uh, on the setting uh, on top of the setting you can you know, turn this option on so all these options you are like setting here you have all these options here as is as an icon so let's say you want to change to wireframe you have the options here so these are display modes so these are some different categories you can see from these lines so we, you can again collapse those things so these are display modes wireframe set it so you can also use this you can use shortcut you can use these or you can use the menus so we have wireframe set it and wireframe on set it 
then we have the lighting mode and the texture mode so now i don't have any texture so if i go to go to this setting and turn on this hardware texturing which is the texture mode i don't have any texture to show let's say our character has some textures let me assign a texture so let's right hold right mouse and let me first maximize this view hold right mouse on the object and let's go to material attributes okay let's go to the material here now you can see it opens the attribute editor let's go to this blend one and if i go to this color and let's follow this checker of this color let's click on that and from here i can assign any texture by default texture let's say the checker so let's assign that now you can see the texture because we are in this texture hardware texturing no mode so if i turn that off even though we have texture you cannot see it because now you can see only the shaded mode and again four for wireframe five shortcut for shaded mode six for texture so six is the same for this option you can press six to turn this option on again five shaded six for texture okay let's see the other options and that is the lighting mode and the lighting mode is inside this lighting tab so if i go here and use this all light options it's going to be black because you can see we don't have any lights created for this character or in this scene so if i go to create menu and go to lights menu and if i create a light from this list let's say the point light and now you can see the lights so this is the light here again i can use the move tool from here and let's hold left mouse to move the light now you can see the lighting again wireframe 4 shaded 5 6 is texture 7 is for lighting so these four modes are there and again of course there's a mode for wireframe on shaded so practice all these display modes and the navigation let me delete this and let's go to the setting mode so let's go to five so practice all this you no know, different modes and different navigation and become familiar with those options so before you move on to the next lecture so in the next lecture we are going to see how to create different objects inside maya